Junior Gillette and Corey Finesse. What's good? Uh huh. Chilling, man. Up, Living the dream. Okay. Well, first of all, how did y'all two hook up? Well, obviously, I've, you know, we know um, GS9 was kind of running the streets and going crazy in New York the past uh, few years. And you said they had a to bus. Music. And literally, I had three of the favorite songs that I, you know, like listen to. I couldn't. If I went to the club, I had to listen to Computers, Zo God, which is, you know, which he produced and he made. He got the song in. Um, Shicey time. I had to hear that in the club. I tell the <laughs> all the uh, you know the the DJs to play that. Make sure they play that when they bring the bottles to my session. So okay. Um, and then once I told my Achilles, I was literally just you know down and out. Had nothing to do. Would get home by eleven o'clock after treatment, and now I'm just home, not doing anything. Bored. I'm like just listening to songs over and over. I'm like you know what? I just reached out to him on Facebook. I'm like listen, man. I don't know who you're signed to, but we could do something. Let's work on something. I'm about to start my label. Right, I have the people. Me I got, you know, the head editor of Source. I had, um, at the time, I got, I was plugged in with um, Karen Civil. I had a lot of people on board that was ready to help and willing me to take that step. Like, we have everything we need. I got the money behind me to support this, the leg power. We have the lawyers. Let's start making these songs. And let's, you know, continue your career. And that was that. He came through, showed love. He's been in the studio working day and night, and we got a campaign for him. We about to start next week. Okay, that's what's up. Now I'd heard that you were trying to actually get GS9 out of prison. Yeah, that was uh, definitely a fact. But it's so hard with so much. It's so much more than just yeah, getting them out. They got it's a lot going on. <laughs> it's okay. so much more with first the contract they'd have to sign one, two the stuff that they're facing right now. It wouldn't be the best investment for me to, you know, put put the money up and, and, and get them out. It just wouldn't make sense because they, cause they, they're looking at some, you know, some, some, tough, some tough numbers right now. It's not really looking good, but we'll see. Sure. Now, how many people in GS9 actually got arrested? Uh, like a good 15. 15 people. Yeah, 15. Okay. Now, you didn't get scooped up in that? No, I didn't get scooped up. They questioned you at all? No, they didn't. They actually was, didn't question me. I was the there. I was just about to say, I was in the studio though that night, though. Oh, you were in the studio when the cops rolled in? Yes, when the cops raided. They didn't actually raid at first. They were locking up everybody that left. Everybody that left the studio. Bobby was the first to leave. Then we got the call, you know? Like, yo, they locking up. They just locked up Bobby. So his brother just went to try to go get him. He like, yo, I'm going to get my brother to the, at the precinct. He tries to go. He gets locked up. Now, um, after, he, after he gets arrested, everybody... Um, the, the cops start raiding the studio now. This is when they raid the studio, after they lock up the second group. Okay. Rush the studio. To, I mean, SWAT team, K-9, dogs, everything. The shells. That night, I want to go back. <laughs> we were all in handcuffs. Everybody was in shot. Money was there. Like, they had they, my producer, engineers, everybody. They put us all in handcuffs. But when they got off, like, they, they knew who they were looking for. Okay. Well, Rasha got sentenced to 98 years. Yeah. That's, that's your bro. man? Yeah, that's my bro. 98 years. I know, that life. shit is crazy. Which, I don't understand then, why they even put that number out. Like, it's, yeah. like he's not going to say 400 gonna years. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, like, he's not going to work. If I'm immortal, then I guess I could do right. that. Yeah. But. It's and over, next man. one, too, A-Rod. What did he get? A-Rod got 53 years. Football numbers. Football numbers. And one of the guys, uh, do you know uh, Peter Martinez? Oh, yeah, I know Peter Martinez. He was found dead. Yeah, I see that they brought that up and they, and they linked that to the GS9 situation. But was he a GS9 dude? No, he wasn't GS9. We're just all from like the same place, neighborhood. Okay. Now, what about Bobby Schmurder? He's still awaiting trial. Yes, he's still awaiting trial. Um, and it's looking bad. And, it's and, really and Rowdy Rebel, too. Yeah, Rowdy as well. I actually just sent them out. I sent them out. I look out for him all the time. Oh, you put right. some money on the books? I'll be looking out for him. You know, Corey just gives me the call. You know what I'm saying? Tells me to look out for him. So that's not a problem. And we make sure, you know, keep his head up in there. Every time he try to call me, it's like <clears throat> it, it, it it won't connect. It's like it's, it kills me every time he try to call me. I haven't spoken to him. Well, one of the dudes, Mitch, yeah. you know, because in that line, yeah, Mitch. Mitch caught a body about yeah. a week ago. He was one of the dudes. That was actually scooped up, right? And he's on trial for murder, essentially, right? Yes, I don't, I don't even know what's going on with D-Boy as well. Now, Mitch, that's what, that's what I'm, I'm D-Boy. I don't know what's going on with him. 
It's a fucked up situation. It's tough, man. But you know, it's like they had they they literally was overnight success. You know oh yeah. Saying? And literally, these kids are you know obviously lots of talent, very promising. Um, but you know, it, you gotta just be careful. You know, you gotta yeah, be careful with, with what you're doing. You, you, you have that much talent, you just kind of just kind of stray away, and sometimes it follows you. And who you're around, you know what I'm saying? And especially, a lot of those especially charges when you start that they doing have good. are just, you know, for people they were around. Yeah. And you know, when you start doing good, that's when, it, that's when it gets worse. But, you know, Corey, luckily, you know what I'm saying, God, you know, put a link us plan. together and feel like this kid, he's he's not with any of that. He's positive and right. wants to, you know, he's nothing with that lifestyle. He just wants to, he literally said, I just need a studio and a pen. And he's been working, literally. You're going to hear about him really soon. As we start his campaign next week, he's been working his tail off. We I'm haven't released a lot any content him, like, yet. We, did, we shot about right. seven <laughs> videos. Okay. Like legit, not no backyard. This is legit professional videos with drones, everything. And, you know, he's been working his tail off. I feel like the success that he has coming to him, he deserves it. So. Yeah, well, you, you were the good guy right here, man. You know, a lot of people don't put their money where their mouth is. Facts. Nah, you know? ever since I met you, and he, ever since I met you, and he showed me. More utmost love, bro. We built a relationship before I even signed a deal. Yeah. Get you know what I'm saying? Well, I hope Bobby, I mean, we've interviewed Bobby Schmurter before. Uh -huh. Seemed like a good dude. Yeah, I watched that interview too. Yeah. So um, you know, hopefully him and Roddy Rebel, you know, could, could get out that situation. And, I uh, pray they could and, too. And not happen the way, <laughs> what happened with the other dudes. Because cause that, that's ridiculous. 98 right. years, 50 something years, like. God damn. Football numbers for so, real. I mean, football numbers. Just tell me right, life. Don't don't even just give tell me, me the, life. Don't, don't tell me <laughs> those numbers. Like, right. Just tell me life. I'm in there for the rest of my life. Pretty much. Pretty much. But what do you think about the whole situation? Man, my point of view, man, I really feel like they tried to paint a, a bad picture on my brother and tried to make him look like, like he was a hater. Uh, it was some envy, jealousy type shit, you know what I'm saying? And actuality, you know what I'm saying? Bro, been having this shit, man. He been in the condo. I got my hat on and I had my Coke bottles up under my hat. And I'm sitting at the dinner table like an asshole with the hat on, knowing she gonna tell me to take it off. And I'm just sitting there just gawping down, you know, in my zone. She said, take that goddamn hat off at the dinner table. I'm like, come on, mom. Coke everywhere. 